Hi everyone, my name is Julie Panger and I'm the president of the Lubbock Board of Directors for the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to our first ever virtual Great Epilepsy Stakeout benefiting the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas. Our event begins today with the opening of our silent auction and it will run through October 10th and will culminate with our live auction and celebration. As I'm sure you're, you're aware, we're living in strange times. Uh, COVID-19 has forced us all to make changes to really the way that we live our daily lives, but especially the way that we interact in groups. And our organization is no different than that. But the wonderful folks who run the Epilepsy Foundation have worked really hard to keep things as normal as possible during a pandemic. Um, but, and because of that pandemic though, we need your support more than ever. One in 10 people will have a seizure in their lifetime. One in 26 people will develop epilepsy. And that's a lot of people. And one of those people happens to be my husband, Josh. I, I had no idea that epilepsy was still a thing before I met him. Uh, but that's one of the reasons that I joined the Epilepsy Foundation, because it educates people about epilepsy, something that lots of people don't know anything about. And to me, education is key to understanding. And I think that maybe with more understanding, we can find a cure for epilepsy. But in the meantime, we have this organization, the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas, which exists to support people with epilepsy in Texas. As our website says, all of your contributions make it possible to create life impacting opportunities and experiences for people with epilepsy and 95 cents of every dollar raised for this organization goes directly towards programs and services that are offered at no cost to people in our community. People in Amarillo, people in Lubbock, people you know, people like my husband who was helped by the Epilepsy Foundation while he was in college at Texas Tech. So for the next week, we want you to join us on this virtual adventure and help us raise money for a wonderful organization so that we can continue providing services to people with epilepsy in our area. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the folks who have helped put this event together. The boards of directors in both Amarillo and Lubbock have done a wonderful job in putting this on, but we couldn't have done any of this without uh, our fearless leader, uh, Tiffany Schuler, who is the development team leader for the Epilepsy Foundation. And on top of that, the, the fearless leader of our whole organization, Donna Stallhut, who I'd like to, to give special thanks to for, uh, with real wisdom and grace, has guided this organization through just a tremendously difficult time um, with, with this pandemic issue. Uh, every one of you is invaluable to this organization and we appreciate everything that you've put into it and we hope that you get lots out of it. Um, without further ado, I'd like to open the 2020 Virtual Great Epilepsy Stakeout and invite you all to go look at the silent auction items, bid on those items, encourage your friends to bid on those items, then outbid your friends for those items, please. Please help us in any way that you can. We'd love to raise as much money as possible so that we can support our community members, our, our fellow uh, community members with epilepsy, with the programs and services that are provided by the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas. So welcome everyone and we're excited to have you here. Thanks. Thanks, Julie. Good evening, everyone. I am Tiffany Schuler, Development Team Leader for Epilepsy Foundation Texas. This is my fifth great epilepsy stakeout and while it looks quite different than our years prior we are still here for the same reasons all funds raised here tonight and throughout the week in our silent auction go directly towards our programs and services in west texas they will help fund our amarillo and lubbock medical clinics where we provide specialty care to those living with epilepsy they will also help fund our art therapy support groups and our west texas family camp we have partnered with some amazing organizations to make this event happen. I'm really excited to turn it over to Nikki Turnbow, our local representative from UCB and one of our incredible sponsors. 
Good afternoon or evening, um, whenever you're choosing to log into this first ever virtual stakeout. Wanted to welcome everybody, um, not only the people living with epilepsy, but to all the families and caregivers who stand by you and support you every day and who are themselves also affected by epilepsy. My name is Nikki Turnbow and I work for UCB where we're inspired by patients and driven by science. Every day, one of our priorities is to improve the lives of people living with epilepsy. Together with you, we refuse to let this disease get the best of us and continue wearing our purple to create awareness in support of everyone living with epilepsy. The work you do is admirable. UCB continues to partner with organizations like the Epilepsy Foundation, and we're happy to work side by side with this organization and all of you so that together we can overcome epilepsy. When Tiffany asked us to support this event, we were honored. Our support doesn't end here. At UCB, we strive every day to work for people living with epilepsy through science, education, and advocacy. We recognize you, the courageous fighter, and those that support all of us in sharing your cause. Know that we at UCB are here to support your journey. Remember that you're not alone. Keep your heads high and don't back down. We, along with your friends, family, and loved ones, are here for you. Enjoy this virtual stakeout. Don't forget to start bidding on our silent auction at www.stakeoutauction.com. I'm thrilled to introduce our next speakers for the evening, Reagan and Stephanie Focus. Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Focus. This is my son, Hi. Reagan Focus. 
Uh, we are so thrilled that you are here tonight for this virtual fundraiser for the Epilepsy Foundation Texas. Wanted to share a little bit about our story. Uh, Reagan was diagnosed with epilepsy back in 2012 when he was four years old. Uh, he had brain surgery uh, to help uh, with the seizures just seven weeks after his original diagnosis. Uh, but he has been uh, seizure free since then. But we have been sort of living with uh, the repercussions of, of, of epilepsy and uh, brain surgery since then. But we have been involved with the Epilepsy Foundation Texas for about the last six years. Uh, we are very involved with all of the walks to end epilepsy, um, many of the fundraising events that happen all around our state. Uh, and we've done a few of our own uh, fundraisers. So Reagan, you wanna talk a little bit about, like what, what are some of the fundraisers that we've done? Lemonade stand. We did a lemonade stand, yep. Race on over. Uh, you were a speaker at, uh, at the race on over event here in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth last year. It's true. Party party. And at the Houston event last mm -hmm. year. And then what else have we Spin done? Class. Oh, so Reagan and I regularly um, do um, cycling classes for exercise, and last year we hosted a charity uh, spin ride that uh, raised almost $1,000, um, which is enough to put a kid through camp. So speaking of camp, Reagan actually attended uh, Camp Spike and Wave, and you want to talk to a little bit about Camp Spike and Wave and your experience there? It was a lot of fun, and I'd recommend it to anybody who wants to go. What did you do there? Rock climbing, archery, all that fun stuff. So there, there's a lot of activities to do. And what, like, what made you feel um, good about going? Because everybody, could, you could do everything. You always do everything. Nice. So, anyways, we thank you so much for being a part of tonight's event. We know that um, doing what are normally in-person events virtually aren't um, easy and we wish that we could be there with you. But uh, we thank you so much for coming out to support all of the programs and services that the foundation offers, all of the families living with epilepsy around our state. So thank you, thank you so much. We have another incredible sponsor here with us tonight, Mary Nevers and Craig Chambliss from Norellis. At Norellis, we take this responsibility to the epilepsy community very seriously. It's not about just bringing a product to the market. It's about bringing other programs and support materials to help better manage epilepsy. And so we will be working with patients, with their caregivers, with patient advocacy organizations, with nurses, physicians, other healthcare providers, through programs like My Norellis, through other printed materials to help better manage and be prepared for seizure emergencies and, and, and look for opportunities to help enhance the management of epilepsy because that's just part of the responsibility that we have. Hi, I'm Mary, your Norellis representative for West Texas, including Midland, Lubbock, Amarillo, and El Paso. Norellis is thrilled to be able to support the 2020 West Texas Virtual Stakeout. We're committed to those with epilepsy, their care partners, their clinicians. Really, it's those with epilepsy and their families, which inspires the passion for Norellis. For more information about our product, visit norellis.com. Thank you for having us as part of this wonderful event. Be empowered. Now we will hear from a camper turned counselor and recent Texas Tech graduate, Cole Pettit. Hey guys, I wanted to thank y'all for being here today. And this is such an important event to me personally and a lot of other kids out there. My name's Cole. I am a camper, I'm a counselor, and I absolutely love every minute of both. The Epilepsy Foundation asked me to be here today to basically tell you a little bit about myself. So, growing up, I, got, I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was, when I was five. And um, you know, school was tough, real tough, but camp always helped me through it. So anyways, when I was eight, my mom searched on the internet, looking, 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 and she saw this camp, Camp Spike and Wave actually, and 
Uh, we ended up going, and I had the time of my life. Um, but before I get into all of that, I wanted to say, you know, I'm very blessed. Um, I haven't had a seizure in seven years. And I, you can't have words for how blessed I am. But camp itself, I, I don't know where I'd be without it. I'm a recent graduate from Texas Tech University. I want to start my own business. Uh, I have so many awesome plans, like truly awesome plans, that I would not even be thinking, thinking about if it wasn't for camp. I had an awesome counselor. I don't, I don't know if he remembers me at all, but his name was Will Harrington. Man, an incredible guy. He was always that guy that every every camper, you'd look up at him and be like, I want to be him. He's cool. He's awesome. And these counselors that go to these camps are, they're not just counselors. They're role models for these kids. They're, they're who these kids want to be. And it gives these kids something to look up to, something to look forward to. Most of these kids, they'll collapse on the floor. Imagine how that makes them feel. And imagine the sense of community and the sense of just people being accepted can't makes them feel. You could have a seizure, fall to the ground, two, three minutes, no one will bat an eye. They'll say, are you okay? Yeah. All right, let's get up and go. So anyways, I wanted to thank y'all again for being here. Uh, I just wanted to help y'all understand a little bit better about what my experience was as a camper. Another very, a very, I actually went to camp with him. He was in my cabin and I, I only spent one year with him, but man, he was a cool guy. There was a kid named Zane who, um, he, he went to camp and it was his favorite place in the whole world. And that was just awesome and cool and incredible. It was so dope. But you know, he, he, he left camp one year and he, he went to the lake and um, he ended up drowning. He had a, he had a seizure in the lake and uh, he, ended up, he, was, he ended up being buried in his camp shirt. Uh, and that's just how much it means to some of these kids and campers. Um, me personally, you know, so I started as a camper and I, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. And then I was like, you know what? I loved it so much. I want to keep having fun. I'm going to go be a counselor. I'm going to go have fun with these campers. And then you know what? I got to be a counselor and I was just in shock. All the struggles that I went through, I didn't realize these other, these other campers, these other kids, they have it so much worse than me. And I found so much more joy in going in and helping them. I would not be standing who I am today, where I am today, without camp. It is truly an incredible experience. Please, 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 uh, let's raise a lot of money today. It's for these kids. They're awesome kids. Um, I could not think of a better cause. Thanks, Cole. And now to our Diamond Level sponsor, SK Life, and their local representative, Melissa Johnston. Hi. You are not in the fight to end epilepsy alone. My colleagues and I at SK Life Science are committed to the battle for epilepsy and other CNS diseases down the road. My name is Melissa Johnston. I cover West Texas for SK Life Science and look forward to the fight. We are SK Life Science. We explore the complex mysteries of the brain to find answers for patients, caregivers, and healthcare professionals around the world. The SK Life Science family is passionate about improving the lives of people with epilepsy. Together, we work toward this goal every day. We are committed to addressing the needs of the epilepsy community. We know progress requires a consistent, collective effort, and we are here to help. Because at SK Life Science, we won't rest until the work is done. I would like to take a second to thank two very important people. The first is our board president and Lubbock Stakeout Event Chair, Julie Panger. 
The second is our board treasurer and Amarillo stakeout event chair, Brian Johnson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We could not have done this event without you. We truly appreciate your dedication to the Epilepsy Foundation, Texas. Without further ado, Brian Johnson. Hello, I'm Brian Johnson, treasurer on the Amarillo board. I would like to thank everyone for attending the virtual stakeout. I would also like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, SK Life Science, Norellis, Phillips 66, UCB Pharma, Supernus, Hudgens Crozier Sumter, Zogenics, Wood Financial, Bobby Gray and Chad Black, Sonic, and Talent Plus Lubbock. Our auction with many great items will remain open till October 10th, 7.30 p.m. Thank you and have a good night.